Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us for Mass today. It is Wednesday, July 22nd. Today we celebrate the feast day of St. Mary Magdalene. The Lord said to Mary Magdalene, Go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Apostles, prophets, martyrs, and all the noble throng who wear the spotless raiment and raise the ceaseless song for them and those whose witness is only known to you by walking in their footsteps we give you praise anew. <clears throat> Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Father. As I said, this is the feast of St. Mary Magdalene. So let's begin in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and the peace of God our Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. And again, we begin by asking the Lord's forgiveness and mercy. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You feed us with your body and your blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King. O oh God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Amen. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> o God, whose only begotten Son entrusted Mary Magdalene before all others, with announcing the great joy of the resurrection, grant we pray that through her intercession and example, we may proclaim the living Christ and come to see him reigning in your glory, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the love of Christ impels us once we have come to the conviction that one died for all, therefore all have died. He indeed died for all, so that those who live might no longer live for themselves, but for him who their sake died and was raised. Consequently, from now on, we regard no one according to the flesh. Even if we once knew Christ according to the flesh, yet now we know him so no longer. 
So whoever is in Christ is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, new things have come. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm is, My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. My soul is thirsting, thirsting for, for you, you, O Lord my God. O God, you are my God whom I seek. For you my flesh pines and my soul thirsts. Like the earth parched, lifeless, and without water. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. Thus have I gazed toward you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory. For your kindness is a greater good than life. My lips shall glorify you. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. Thus will I bless you while I live. Lifting up my hands, I will call upon your name. As with the riches of a banquet shall my soul be satisfied, and with exultant lips, my mouth shall praise you. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, my God. You are my help, and in the shadow of your wings, I shout for joy. My soul clings fast to you. Your right hand upholds me. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, my God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed apostles sing praise, prophets and martyrs give glory for your majesty. Praise the Spirit, praise the Son. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early in the morning, while it was still dark, and saw the stone removed from the tomb. She, so she ran and went to Simon Peter, and to her other, the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, they have taken away the Lord from the tomb and we don't know where they put him. Mary stayed outside the tomb weeping and as she wept, she bent over into the tomb and saw two angels in white sitting, sitting there, one at the head and one at the feet where the body of Jesus had been. And they said to her, woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, they have taken away my Lord, and I don't know where they had laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus there, but did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? She thought it was a, the gardener, and said to him, Sir, if you carried him away, tell me where you laid him, and I will take him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. And Jesus said to her, Stop holding on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and then reported what he told her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> and good evening again, everyone. Thank good you evening, all for Father. being here. Masks and all, thank you for wearing them. You know, uh, it's been said, and rightly so, that um, after the Blessed Mother, after Mary, the mother of Jesus, the best known woman, in the scriptures, the New Testament at least, is Mary Magdalene. She has a prominent place to play in the early church and in our church as well. We know that uh, she was um, thought to be identified with certain women in the, in, in the stories, but all those ideas have been refuted. But we do know that she 
All we know about her in her past is that she was possessed by some kind of a spirit, evil spirit that Jesus cast out. And she spent the rest of her life thanking him, glorifying him for that. And uh, <clears throat> she followed him in his ministry, in his journey of ministry. She, uh, we know that she even helped him out financially to, to uh, make the mission continue along with other women. <clears throat> and then of course she was at the, uh, at the cross when Jesus was, was dying. The men weren't there, except for John, but she was there. And then, of course, we just heard this beautiful story in this evening's gospel that you think about Mary Magdalene. She was the very first woman, the very first person, not just woman, the very first person in the history of the human race who heard about the re resurrection. Isn't that amazing? She was the first person to hear about it and experience the resurrection. And she became <clears throat> the first disciple in a way, almost like an apostle. And uh, what she did was she ran back to the, where they were assembled and told, told them the good news that Jesus is alive. He's a, I've seen him, he's alive. <clears throat> and then uh, I know the Dominican priests who uh, are uh, brothers and sisters who are, um, they're really, really known as the order of preachers, take Mary Magdalene as their patroness because she was the first preacher. She, went out and told the good news. That's what we're all supposed to be doing. She was the first one, the first one to do it. <clears throat> and so they gave her that very great honor as, as a preacher, as a, 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 a patroness of the order of preachers. What a beautiful honor she's been given and rightly, and rightly so. <clears throat> but also the beautiful scene at the tomb. <clears throat> Jesus searched her out, searched for her, and said, Mary, called her by name, Mary, and she recognized him as Jesus and the Rabboni. And then he said, um, used to be a great Latin phrase, nole me tangere, don't touch me, don't hang on to me, don't cling to me. I haven't ascended to the Father. I don't want you to cling to me. That sounds kind of strange sometimes. I thought, why did, you, why did he say that, don't cling to me? There's a lot of, I mean, we, we cling to him, certainly, in one respect. <clears throat> but the other respect, you know, just cling to him. We go out and tell the rest of the world what we just experienced. We go out and tell the rest of the world the good news is cling to Jesus. We cling to him as someone we love dearly. But go out and tell the rest of the world about that, about the great news. <clears throat> and that's what Mary did. <clears throat> so we know that, uh, that she was really the great first preacher in, in the church. And uh, had, a, has, had a very prominent role in the early church. But because of, uh, I hate to say this, but because of the male domination her role was suppressed but the scriptures just speak loud and clear that no matter what they thought she was one of the most prominent women after mary of course mary the mother of god in the early church and so uh, we can't just cling to jesus either i mean we, we certainly want to cling to him but not cling to him in the sense that we don't go out and tell the rest of the world the good news that jesus christ our lord and savior is risen from the dead. Hallelujah for that one. So let's stand and offer our petitions this, this evening. We continue our ongoing prayer. I know many of these prayers are the same every, every time, but why not? Uh, we pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, uh, as he goes out and proclaims to the world the good news of Jesus Christ. So we pray, pray for, uh, for him. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we add to our prayers our bishop, Strengthen Bishop Bandera, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for all women of the church who have, uh, for the time, the, the very beginning of the church, proclaimed the good news of Jesus Christ in so many ways. Women religious, women not religious, religious, not part of religious communities, but through their own work as parents and teachers and nurses and all kinds of other things have been the presence of Jesus in the world in so many ways, and we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our <clears throat> And let us give thanks for the women religious communities in our church, women who have just dedicated their, their whole lives to proclaiming the good news of Jesus Christ in the spirit of Mary Magdalene. We pray to the Lord. And we continue our prayer for uh, this virus that is reaching through our country and through the world. Pray in many ways to get through the great sacrifices we're all making, trying to make to get be safe and still maintain our faith 
and our connection to the Eucharist. We uh, pray that we will be able to come out of it stronger than ever, but, but right now we're in the midst of the tent. We have to pray for Orient and pray for one another. We pray to the Lord. <clears throat> and we have to continue to pray, unfortunately, for those who have died yesterday, today, and will die tomorrow from the coronavirus. We pray for their, their grieving, mourning families. We pray to the Lord. And as we know from this virus how precious life is, how it's a wonderful gift from, from God, let's just pray that our country will once again begin to extol and hold up the great value of human life by suppressing any need for abortion. We pray to the Lord. <clears throat> and let us pause for our own intention this, this evening. <clears throat> we pray to the Lord. And we now pray to the other Mary, Mary, the mother of God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Women of the church, how rich is your legacy. Women of the church, how great is your faith. Women of the church, wellsprings of integrity. Lead us in the ways of peace. Lead us in the ways of peace. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. <clears throat> and by the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who has humbled himself to share in our humanity. <clears throat> and blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wanting to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, that will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. And Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sin. <clears throat> and now pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> Accept, O Lord, the offering presented in commemoration of St. Mary Magdalene whose homage of charity was graciously accepted by your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. <clears throat> it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are praised in the company of your saints, and in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an example, and by communion with them, you give us companionship, by their intercession, sure support, so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us, and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. And so, with the angels and the archangels, with the great multitude of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make 
holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <clears throat> mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. <clears throat> and therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by taking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and all the religious and clergy. Remember also our brothers and our sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and this evening to remember the deceased members of the Zaleski family and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Faustina, St. Mary Magdalene, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. But through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 And now, at the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver, deliver us from evil. And deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, <clears throat> we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. <clears throat> and Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now let's share Christ's peace with one another. And peace to everyone who is viewing at home. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. 
Have mercy, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us, grant us peace. <clears throat> Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am, I am not worthy that you should have turned under my roof. roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And may the body of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. And may the blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. The love of Christ impels us so that those who live may no longer live for themselves, but for him who died for them and was raised. That Easter morn at break of day, the faithful women went their way to seek the tomb where Jesus lay. Hallelujah. An angel clad in white they see, who sat and spoke unto the three. Your Lord has gone to Galilee. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. <clears throat> and for those who are praying with us at home, and pray an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. <clears throat> I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated. <clears throat> in our prayer to St. Michael. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all other evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Let us pray. <clears throat> May the holy reception of your mysteries, Lord, instill in us that persevering love with which St. Mary Magdalene clung resolutely to Christ her Master, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and to serve the Lord and one another. Thanks be to God. So let's continue our annual novena to St. Anne. O Almighty God, Father of mercies and giver of all good gifts, we kneel before you to honor you in your saints and to seek their intercession in our many needs. We are truly sorry for all our sins and humbly ask your pardon. <clears throat> Please grant our petitions and a full measure of the indulgence you have granted to your vicar, the Pope, and draw us ever nearer to your divine heart. Amen. A prayer to St. Anne, Mother of the Blessed Virgin Mary, with a heart full of sincere and filial veneration. I prostrate myself before you, O Blessed St. Anne. You are that beloved and privileged creature who, because of your extraordinary virtue and sanctity, did deserve of God chief of graces, 
of giving life to the treasury of graces, the blessed among women, the mother of the incarnate Lord, the blessed Virgin Mary. Ah, <clears throat> in consideration of such exalted favors, please, O most tender saint, receive me among the number of your truly devoted servants, for such I confess myself to be and wish to remain for the rest of my life. Surround me with your education, patronage, and obtain for me from God the imitation of those virtues with which you were so profusely adorned. Obtain for me a knowledge of my sins and a sorrow for them, an ardent love of Jesus and Mary, and a faithful and constant observance of the duties of my state in life. Save me from all dangers in life and assist me at the hour of my death that I may safely reach paradise, there to praise with you, most happy mother, the word of God made man in the womb of your most true daughter, the Blessed Virgin Mary. Amen. <clears throat> Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, the world without end. Amen. <clears throat> a prayer to St. Anne to obtain a special favor. And I ask you all, I know you all have your own individual request this, this evening, but let's also continue to pray for an end of the, of the virus. O glorious St. Anne, and filled with compassion for those who invoke you, and with love for those who suffer. Heavily laden with the weight of my, of my troubles, I cast myself at your feet and humbly beg of you to take the present affair, which I recommend to you under your special protection. <clears throat> Please recommend it to your daughter, the Blessed Virgin Mary, and lay it before the throne of Jesus, so that he may bring it to a happy issue. Please continue to intercede for me until my request is granted, and above all, obtain for me the grace of one day beholding my God face to face, and with you and Mary and all the saints, praising and blessing him for all eternity. Amen. Good Saint Anne, mother of her who is our life, our sweetness and our hope, pray to her for us and obtain our requests. Good Saint Anne, <clears throat> mother of her who is our life, our sweetness and our hope, pray to her for us and obtain our requests. Good Saint Anne, mother of her who is our life, our sweetness and our hope, pray to her for us and obtain our requests. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. <clears throat> Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Good say then, pray for us. <clears throat> and now we'll bless us all and be growing with sinners. <clears throat> session of St. Anne. May the Lord grant you your request according to your divine will. And we ask this blessing in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail, Mother of Mary, O gracious Saint Anne, God's marvelous choice from the whole race of man. O good Saint Anne, Saint Anne, pray for us. O good Saint Anne, Saint Anne, pray for us. Sweet child of election, deemed worthy to bear 
The Virgin of Virgins, Christ Mother most fair, O oh, good Saint Anne, Saint Anne, pray for us. O oh, good Saint Anne, Saint Anne, pray for us. Look upon our sorrows, give ear to our plaint. Behold our afflictions, O oh, powerful Saint. O oh, good Saint Anne, Saint Anne, pray for us. O oh, good Saint Anne, Saint Anne, pray for us. Thank you everyone for joining us uh, for Mass this evening. As a reminder, in two weeks it's going to be the Padre Pio Mass. If you have not already sent your name in, please send it into the office soon. Uh, as spaces are filling up and we have to stay to a strict 70 people uh, in the building for that Mass. Thank you all for joining us this evening and have a good night. God bless. See you tomorrow morning at 8 a.m.